Don't hold any paper plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, now that you've heard each other's speeches, um, would you think that makes you like stand out compared to the other candidates? Oh, I'm wearing a jacket and all that. That's true. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, okay, yeah, I'll get it. I mean, I think, I think they probably have potentially more achievements than I do, but I think my focus was more on the emotional side and sort of well, welfare, well-being um, aspect, which I think matters a lot as a VP, as I said. I think people, um, one of the roles is being the blue, the communicator, um, and I think my, I've, placed a lot, I've placed a lot of uh, focus and um, energy into sort of trying to show that how I can be the person that you can come to talk to, um, as a welfare officer, of course. Um, I think that potentially could set me apart, sort of emotional and... Well, I'm working with personality, approach. Just... How about that? I go for that. Yeah. Um, I, I think Edgar has a lot of determination from his speech. <laughs> I think I have, well, I know Hayden mentioned like the emotional side and being the approachable one that everyone can talk to, but I also think I've equally been able to showcase that. I said feedback forms and making sure I'm taking in the opinion of all the committee members and like, members within out of this. And I know I work closely with the president um, so I will be constantly communicating with the president um, regarding like conflict or like any improvements to make. And I also mentioned like working with people like in a team of a similar size in my past school. So I, I know how it feels like being like kind of overwhelmed with like many different opinions and it's kind of hard to manage like to which one do we prioritize and which one's the most feasible. So mm -hmm. As Hayden Hayden, you did say that, um, I think you said that the president has the final say in a lot of big decision making. Um, what do you do if the president has made a big decision without consulting your committee and you do not agree with it? Do you step your, do you put your foot down? Is that me or is that everyone? Everyone. Oh, I'll fight them. No, but, yeah, no I, I definitely talk to them because like you can't just go off making decisions without having that and then I'll make them like explain to us like they are the president but it's still a team and you're gonna have to explain yourself so yeah agreed um, as I said I've placed a little focus on transparency and democracy I think that's probably two words I literally use the most uh, probably potentially too many um, but I think yeah, it really matters I think the president's on that say but we're still a team, and I, as I really try to put, uh, place focus on, there is no levels. This, I just, you've got the final say, that's fine. Um, but we're still a committee, we're still a team, they're working to have a total of different things. Yes, and how do you convince a dictator president that? Um, we drop them in the back alley. That, I don't mean, know, I don't mean that. I also think, um, cool, you could be an absolute dictator, like absolutely crazy, but I think it would still make an impact if you could gather all the members of your team and not do a mutiny, that's out of order, but I think if we sort of gather as a, as a five and just came, went up to the president and be like, actually, we all kind of don't agree with, at the moment, how you're doing things and we're really struggling to see why you're doing it. And I think that's probably the most peaceful per se, um, an effective way of not shocking him into realizing his actions, but um, giving him the realization that us as a team won't work if he continues or down this path of ruin. There's also an underhanded way to do it. Uh, you the, do you know how those other presidents, right? Oh, you talk to them about it and you get them to help you. It's basically amusing. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Do you guys have any prior experience using Excel? Yes. 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 I was unfortunate. I'm proficient. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, I did a physics module, which was a mistake, and all of the two coursework was excel. So. Do you guys have any, do you know any shortcuts, excel shortcuts? I can write macros. I cannot write macros, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jin. I say at a dinner that you've organised, yeah, Chef yeah. cancels last minute, what do you do? I go, oh. no, okay. uh, I'll go. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, not chance, mate, right. no, no, no. Um, if there was just one cook, we'd have a pretty big problem. Big problem, right? yeah, <laughs> because you don't have one chef for the whole event. If the whole team falls out, then you're gonna have to find a replacement team pretty quickly. I think contingency. But plan. yeah, I you might have to cancel because without a team of chefs, you can, you, can you cook the, the dinner yourself? Well, if that is a last <laughs> option, you all want food poisoning. Uh, what happens yeah. on the night? Because that, that actually happens. Oh, right. yeah. At Christmas dinner, yeah. the chef, chef didn't show up. Yeah. I think well, yeah, one chef. Oh, that's the main chef. Did not show up, and that's why it was like cancelled. Yeah. 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 Like most of the things on the PowerPoint, other than you know team harmony, all of them happened. Happened, yeah, and no, I thought so. It seemed too specific not to. I can't lie. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Really? That's crazy. Well, I don't know what was the question. I think like just ordering food. Yeah. Yeah. I think last minute. Yeah. Like, yeah. last minute the plan is definitely to just get the immediate situation resolved, <laughs> get the hungry people their food, and then afterwards. You know, the restaurant, you know, whoever you spoke to, the guy that, that got you, you can complain to more you want, get a refund, and... But I think the most important thing is resolve the immediate situation, so they don't go home hungry. I wouldn't want to go home hungry if I came to a dinner. You know what I mean? See what the other chefs can whip up. <laughs> yeah, and, and maybe order more if you need, you know what I mean? And then, there's always... You know how in a team there's don't always... Say back don't say back don't back No, there's always that one person who wants to become the next leader. So you put them temporarily in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just resolve the immediate situation, if not, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, it's kind of similar to the last one, but what if like you, after like a dinner happens, people didn't like the food and then you get a bunch of complaints from your members saying like the menu was really bad? <laughs> that also, that also <laughs> You'll ask for feedback and then see like where was it bad, why was it bad, and honestly, if it's that bad, just don't use the same people again. Yeah. What, what happens if you plan a dinner and? What about dinners? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. DP is is oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and a bunch of other unis oversell tickets, and more than more people, more people turn up than there are seats. No seats. <laughs> what yeah, do yeah. you do? I think it depends, of course, on the specific situation. I mean, if you're in a restaurant which is on an outside area, it, again, as I stand by the fact that immediately resolve it, just let your customers be happy somehow. Get the extra chairs out. Um, so sort of call whoever's, you know, call the restaurant. But we've literally booked out the entire restaurant. Oh, okay. There's no seats left. Okay, well, I think pull out a group of people and take them to another restaurant. I think I would have to deeply apologize at the start of the dinner service and be like, I'm really sorry for this the way it has to be. Um, you guys are going to be bunched up at a table and like, it's definitely not going to happen at future events. Like, we're going to do whatever we can to control it, but this is how it's going to be for the time being. Yeah. Well, mm. also, worst case scenario, first come, first serve. Because you know, like, some people just sign up and then don't show up, like, they're paid. So, first come, first serve. I just might still make it up. I think this is probably quite an important thing to bring up is um, like like situations like that. Um, it's probably quite important to think about what you how you could actually get good out of this. For example, if you went next door to the other restaurant that's also there, borrow twenty five chairs and goes, I am so sorry. We will return twenty five chairs to you in three and a half hours time. And <laughs> and have to pay them a little bit. Um, obviously that resolves the situation in the restaurant. And sort of, obviously, you can sort out your other unis afterwards, um, berate them, tell them what, what are you doing, whatever, afterwards. But I think um, that, in a sense, you just have to look at your surroundings and see what you can do, and just keep the people that have signed up happy. I think that's the most important thing. Okay, another question. Let's say you're vice president already, and your president does jack shit. Like, they're just fucking useless. 
What do you do? <laughs> Honestly, this happens a lot, so you just do everything. You talk with them, but you can't really, you do like... do everything. We do everything. Like, you take the burden like, for yourself. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's a tough job, but it's a tough job, bro. The president... I don't know if we could, like, kick them out, because... You can. Oh, then we'll kick them out. That's not specific. <laughs> well, we'll try. That's not specific, doesn't it? Um, I agree. I think you, as a vice president, you've signed up to this. You're going to have to shoulder, I'm not going to percent, just like 60, 50% of the burden if he doesn't do anything. But I think, again, as I mentioned about the sort of, like, president, I don't agree with his actions. You have to get the group together and talk to him about it. And if he still doesn't change, you can't really ruin the reputation of the society <coughs> by removing a president. I guess at the middle in the middle of the year, which I think would look quite bad, both on him and the society. You've clearly made the wrong choice, yeah. right? Um, but I think as a VP, you have the responsibility to shoulder a large majority of the load. But if you get along with the other people, which hopefully you do, I would sort of give um, all of the rest of the load sh sh share it between them uh, that lot. But you would have to take responsibility as well, I guess. Yeah. Adding on to that, it's like. You're gonna split it up, so you're not taking it all on yourself. If you have good relations with the team, you'll split it between five, and it'll be pretty easy, like a decent. And you'll be a communicator. As I said. <laughs> it has to be done. But you will make sure that the president is your figurehead. So you'll send them out. You'll give them a script, and they'll just say whatever you want. Joe Biden. No, sorry. It's called vice president, and that's because you have a vice on the president. Boy, that was actually quite good. <laughs> So on the night of like a major event, let's say ten ten, the first time right? Yeah. So listen, listen. It's not specific, but like, you're hosting pre's. Okay. And then the president passes out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Because like, they have to be like, there. <laughs> what do you do? Got you, got you, got you. Um, put him in a recovery position. Call <laughs> an ambulance. And, uh, uh, put them to bed. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't me. I, it wasn't you. Was 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 is this specific or what? No, yes. <laughs> no, 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 not to me. Um, I think for me, I've stood by. I've, stood, I've said this like three times. Immediately resolved. And if the, you, as a VP, need to game type decision, if they can make it somehow miraculously recover with some water or some like, vitamin C, then he can be there. No, I'm just saying. Look, give him some tablets. It'll wake up, right? Yeah, if he can be there, it's like a red bull. In, you know? If he can be there, then great, he, he's there. But if not, um, if anyone does ask you um, where he is at the event, let's say, I think you have to consult your team and, in a sense, I think sometimes you have to protect the sort of reputation of your president as well. You don't want him being slated. You could just say he had a family emergency. Oh my God, his, his sister is suddenly... <laughs> Go on, go on and done something right. You have to protect his <laughs> reputation. You have to protect your members. Um, I think, and as a VP, you have to step up and lead when you should. And I think that's a situation where you should. I also think beforehand you should have talked about like because it's a contract. Right? Don't give him shots. You're going to be like legally bound, so you'll have to make sure that person is over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last question. I want a yes or no answer. Your president drops dead. Do you run for president? No. Edgar? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to say yes, isn't he? Three. No. Nice. Maybe? Well, these elections are taking place. By elections. So in like an emergency election. What oh, so the, oh, so there is another election that's running for yeah. the new president. Yeah, but you can also step in. What if run. we wrote up a contract saying... <laughs> no, no, no. It's a yes or no. Sorry, yes. context. So no. definitely a new election. There would... You can run for it. Yeah. And other people can run as well. Oh, yes. Then yeah, I think I would. Because if... I think... I only said no out of the integrity of keeping... If you weren't running that election, why would it... Like, if he's dead, it's mm. like... Rest in peace. Because <laughs> it's funeral, right? And keep the position open for the year. That's what I would do. Um, but if there is an election, I'm talking about that for the year. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Chris, <laughs>